you'll be jealous of us. We saw Do- we went to Vegas and we saw for a convention and we saw Donny Osmond and Keith Urban and we were like taken two not- different shows, not together. No? Two separate shows, but okay. I was like, wow, that would be a bill. But it, but it was a bit, but it was kind of, yeah, like it's oh, that's cool. Yeah. Keith Urban yeah. is so great. Like, cause I think we were in Vegas at one point when he was doing a show, we weren't able to make it, but it's like, oh, he's, I, yeah, I'm a big fan of his. He's so talented. We were not, fa- I, I mean, speaking for myself, I was not, a, not, not a fan, but not a fan. Um, He puts on such a great show. Exactly. He's such a showman. Yeah. yeah. And that's the other thing about Pink. She loves country as well. I mean, Chris Stapleton and Kenny Chesney, she, she de- she has no so no boundaries with her musical choices, and the, I mean that Kenny Chesney song was so great it was such a hit too, you know like he like postponed his album to like to make sure to get it on there and it was massive it was a huge hit but you're right you know she you know is, is oh, she's been so good about saying you know I like music and not necessarily seeing genre boundaries and kind of pushing boundaries and especially on her last couple records she's really done that in terms of trying to you know, make it be pretty eclectic. And so, yeah, and she's, and she's really good at it. I think that's the difference. She's not just like, oh, I'm going to dabble in this and whatever. Like generally, you know, she's, she's so popular now that people are like, yeah, this is actually really good. Like had she put out, try this now, I think that it probably would have been received a lot better than it was 20 years ago. Uh, Yeah. I think you're right about that. And her her voice blends so nicely with so many different art. I mean, it's just good. Whatever it is about her voice, I don't know, you know, music, you know, I'm not trained in music and you know, musically, but her voice just with everyone she duets with, it's just perfect. <laughs> and I think you make I such know. a good point on that because, you know, even though she does have such a powerful voice, she's able to sing with other people. You know, she's not going in and just belting out these songs. She's, you know, trying to figure out what is the best way for me to sing with these people. What, you know, what do I need to do with my voice on this to make this work? And so I think that's also, which is, you know, such, it's a difficult skill. There are some pop artists that just did, are not as good as, at that. Yeah. Um, and so she's really good at that and, and adapting and, you know, and being okay with that too. Cause that's the other part is that she's totally okay. Maybe not being, you know, the center of attention or being, you know, I need to have like, you know, this line, like she's really good about being in service to the song and making sure the song is good. Which leads us to Lady Marmalade. How did she... <laughs> Yet. I mean, the, those are those are some, ta- you know, how do you find your way in that in in that uh, trio of, right. of leaders, you know? Well, it's funny because I think she was basically recruited. I mean, it, so I mean, that song came out when she was still sort of pretty, you know, considered pretty much an R&B pop artist. And but when she ended up on the song, she was sort of like, you know, the token rock person um, because, you know, so she was with Christina Aguilera, Lil Kim. And Maya and then Missy Elliott, um, you know, produced it, was on the song as well. And so, you know, you had Christina Aguilera as the pop artist. You had Lil Kim as the rapper. Maya was R&B. So Pink was rock. And so, yeah, and that was that was sort of so funny because people forget that she was still kind of on her way up at that point. She was popular and she, you know, it had a good year, but that really kind of helped elevate her profile a lot. And, you know, and, you know, as there were so many stories floating around, she didn't get along with Christina and that, you know, and there were, you know, there's a lot of, you know, different, everyone, each side has had a different story. And, you know, the last I heard, everyone had kind of patched everything up and Pink is like, you know, I'm so tired of talking about this. Like, we're all good. Um, But at the time it was like a big thing, but, you know, but that's also very indicative of the time that was very, it was a lot more um, sexist at that point. You know, they were pitting these women against each other. You know, you had Britney versus Christina, you know, you had Backstreet Boys versus NSYNC. You had all of these people needed people to be, you know, in, in contrast with each other and kind of, you know, um, fighting, you know, against each other. You couldn't just have people coexisting. So I think part of that also was the time in which that, uh, that song um, emerged. <laughs> 